let me just record here. Okay, so the first trade uh, was a loss of the gold. Okay, it hit the stop loss, but we have to exit as uh, we plan, right? So we exit with loss, 60 pips. And you can see the, the, those kind of a funny comments comes in, uh, such as, uh, you know, uh, stop loss was too tight, right? Uh, Great loss, all right. Nice stop loss hit. <laughs> stop loss reach. Hmm, good. <laughs> right? You can see that uh, there's always people. Right? I don't know what what kind of uh, mindset they are having. It's like they they they, they see uh, those others people's trades hit so st hit stop loss and they are they are feeling happy and <laughs> feeling they they're feeling good. Right? What's the point of the doing this kind of things? Right? But. I don't care, so we just move on. And then in the non-farm payroll day, right? Uh, I did this in my webinar in non-farm payroll. Of course, that is a Chinese webinar. Uh, I didn't also actually uh, make it uh, to my international students because it's a purely Chinese. Or uh, most of you do not understand Mandarin. So, but I still make a time. I publish this snapshot of gold. If you can see here, right? I said, yeah, now the non farm P, the non farm payroll happens and the gold is moving down. It's testing the previous low with 618 level, 185.72. You can see here the price, right? And I said, yeah, let's using the second test to re enter at 618. Okay, my question is how many of you see my post and how many of you trade this gold long? Raise your hands. All right, when you see, when you see my post, I said, okay, second test, the previous low, didn't break the new low, and uh, it uh, touched the 618 level, so it's a good time for us to buy, right? Okay, how many of you? Anyone bought from 125 or 186 at the non-farm period day after the data released, right? Anyone? <clears throat> hmm. Yes, okay, good, MSK, very good. Yeah, and uh, most of my China students has bought this trade because they are in my webinar and they know that, okay, it's a good time to buy. And I said, let's just buy from 1285. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're from WeChat. Very good. Okay. Nice. Okay. And stop loss at 1280. Right. Aim 1294. Look at my arrows, guys. Look at my arrows. From the point, I can know that the gold will reach to this level. The first level is 1294. The second level will be 1304, right? Because we look, look left, the very strong resistance level is at 1304 to 1306. Okay, so that's why I can know my trade's target before the market really moves that, because that is my anticipa uh, anticipation and uh, is a very nice risk reward ratio, right? We are risking about $5 in exchange of two, $20. So that's one to four risk reward. Right, and then you can see now, okay, now the gold has already ready from 185 to 1305, and I think you can take 90% of your profit, right? Because we are going to hit into some resistance zone, so it's good to take profit, right? Okay, so I hope that you can understand the logic of my trade so that you know better, okay, what you should do, okay, when the real situation happens, all right? Can, did you do you have this courage, right, to trade this uh, uh, <coughs> to trade this uh, very very sharp deep fall, right? When the when the market is doing something like this, do you have the courage to buy to take a reversal trade? If you don't understand my logic, I, I'm afraid that you may be just you know <laughs> uh, freaking that uh, too too be too scared that you don't want to enter the buy, but. At the moment uh, when I said we can buy from 185, right? You can see the ready stars, and there's nothing you you need to worry about because you only know that there will be two results of your trade: one stop loss hit, and we lose like 40 pips or 50 pips. The second result will be a great, a fruitful gain, okay, like 200 pips. So which one you prefer? Which one you choose? Okay, you you want to. You want to buy or you want to sell, right? You, you're willing to take the risk to enjoy the, the game. If you will, right, just buy. And yesterday, and yesterday I said we can buy from this four-hour pullback. Remember? Anyone? 
right? I, I, I tell you guys that okay, gold has break this uh, neckline, and then uh, I set my post in WeChat that okay here, right? We want to buy the pullback. It's same logic, structure break, retest of the previous resistance level now becomes support and is easily to catch this one to ninety six to one three zero six ten dollar move one hundred pips within one day, right? And now it's already hit my target, so close ninety percent of your trade. Okay, just hold the rest, and it will be good, right? Any questions for the gold? Any questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I can say that yeah, the, we actually did the two trades in the gold. Right? The first trade was a loss, minus 60 pips. Okay? But the second trade, win 200 pips. And that's what we call professional trading. Right? We are not afraid of making mistakes, being stop loss hunt. It's okay because when stop loss hit, we just lose a small money, okay? But when we win, when the market failed to hit my stop loss, we make doubles or triples of the risk, right? And the second trade makes 200 pips. So in the end, we still capture the whole 140 net profit, okay? And if you long one, one lot, you earn 1,400 US dollars, isn't it? Okay, all right? Yeah, I won't tell you that how much money I made from this trade, right? <laughs> the first trade I lose about five hundred dollars. The second trade I win two thousand. Okay, so it easily I have a two thousand US dollar gain, and uh, yeah, and now I'm starting to short the oil and hope that oil trade can make me another great, yeah, great week. Okay, so let's just go back to check the oil. See, you can see here, yeah. The price ready back to the structure right if you want to take the shot go ahead go ahead there's nothing to be afraid okay structure break retest right stop a set okay target set if the risk reward is more than two to one it's worth to try okay good so let's move on to euro okay the euro makes a ready all right makes a ready 1.1 from 1.1 to 20 and we can see uh, here it, the price tells us uh, uh, inside the bar breaks up. If you look at it here, right? Inside the bar, mother bar, inside the bar breaks up and then it goes up. So it is very very nice uh, inside the bar trade of this euro from 1.12 to 1 to 78. Now you're about to earn uh, 50 pips, right? But in the long run, what uh, what's my view of the euro is, okay, the euro fails to break new low Right, fails to break new low, so which means 1.12, 1.12 level a strong support, and as long as the price is above this level, what you should do is trying to buy the pullback, buy the low, okay. As long as the euro cannot break 1.12, you should be trying to buy. However, there's one thing you need to remind, to be reminded, okay, to be alert, uh, is about the. Uh, let's go to the investing.com, right? You know that what will happen in this week? Do you remember? What happens now for gold? Close 90% of your trade. Just hold it, hold the rest. And trying to short, trying to short when bearish price action shows, right? Why do you, why do you ask what happens now? Yeah, just, just let it be. The gold... Gold is still, you know, just still bullish and trying to sideways may still have another rally. I don't know, but we know that it's, it's going to hit the resistance, right? So whether you want to take a short, it's up to you and you should decide by the risk reward ratio and the 618 maybe. Okay, you can see here, 618 is at 1307.76, right? So if you really want to short gold, trying to short from this level, right? And trying to set your stop loss above 1312, all right? Okay, so don't short now. It's just still still a, a, a bullish market, right? Just break new high, maybe sideways a little bit and then breaks another higher, right? But it's uh, almost reached our 90% of our target, so yeah, it's good to take some profit, okay? For the euro, remember? Okay, uh, something to ha happen is uh, you just need to check the markets, the economic calendars here. 
right? And uh, uh, I think if I'm not wrong, if I'm not wrong, you should. Uh, okay, let's see. This week, you can see there's a fundamental event. Okay, in this week, which will be happen uh, um, Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Yes, this Wednesday, okay, at seven forty-five p.m. in Singapore time, okay, or seven forty-five a.m. in the USA, New York time, the 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 Euro Central Bank will announce the month the monetary policy. Okay, it tells you that it's, they are still going to maintain the zero percent interest rate. But the, the uh, more important thing is the, the, the ECB press conference at uh, 8.30. And the Taraki will make some announcement and it tells you that whether the ECB is going to uh, start the tapering okay, of the Eurozone. So if the ECB being dovish, which means uh, if they continue on to uh, doing the easing, okay, the easing money policy, the euro may be weakened. Okay. However, if they show something or they tell people something that about the tapering, I think that would be a very strong statement to push the euro to a higher place. Do you understand? Okay. So just pay attention to this Wednesday's event. Right? It will be very, very uh, uh, critical for the euro. Okay. Because if the euro being strong it will just move to maybe 1.1367 all right or uh, and if the 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 ecb announced any dovish statement it may still have another four and maybe it will even break the new low who knows so just get ready for this event right okay good move on to study okay studying yeah what's your view of studying is a uh, Clearly a setting, right? It's clearly a set setting because we can see the highs getting lower and lower, right? And it squeeze the market like the you know kind of a low is getting higher. But can you see that the buyer actually fails to push the price a lot of times, right? One, two, three, four, and then it was reject from one point one three <clears throat> three one twenty. Okay, and of course. Uh, if those people who join my webinar in non-farm payroll, the China uh, Chinese webinar, they should actually capture a buy from the sterling last week, which I used the Fibonacci extension tools, and I told them to buy from 1.3020 to 1.304. I said this this level, this zone is going to be a very nice buying zone, and if they if they buy, if they bought this place, okay, it will actually make uh, about 100 pips move. Okay, but now the price already moved up and touched the previous neckline here, which is uh, <clears throat> 1 1.3120 is the previous neckline here. Okay, you can see that it, this place is also the 618 place, <clears throat> right? Can you see that? It's actually 618 pullback. It's just like last time when the, Euro, when the sterling makes this 618 pullback, right? Okay, you can see the, the price actually have some clues, have some patterns. Okay, every time when the study, you know, breaks down and it pulls back to the 618 level with the structure, what happens? The price falls dramatically. And now I think it's still another 618 pullback, okay? Break down, pull back 618, and the small can start to drop, right? So in daily chart, we know this more clear that if the, the, the high continue to make lower and eventually the sterling will actually break down the triangle, right? So tell me, what do you think if, the, if this triangle was broken? Tell me, what will happen if this triangle was broken? What will happen? Okay, maybe you can stay out the pullback to enjoy the next four. Okay, I think the next four may easily touch 1.28, right? Yeah, because it's actually a ranging session for a very long time and it's actually screening the market like a triangle. 
if the triangle down the bottom line was broken it will actually force a lot force a lot just like euro euro has been already tested the previous low but sterling not yet so it may just test the previous low of 1.28 okay just to be reminded of this trade okay all right move on aussie dollar Okay, Aussie dollar, as I said in my last webinar, I am bullish of Aussie. Okay, I am bullish of Aussie because I know that the high is no longer, you know, pressing the price already. It actually made breaks up. And yeah, we did see a break up. Okay, so Aussie find a pullback to buy. Okay, that will be a good place. The very nice trade will be 0 0.7110. All right, you are using this place to buy. I'm trying to buy the pullback from 0.7110, right? I'm trying to uh, aim for 0.7223, right? I, th I think this week is okay for the Aussie to rally to here, okay? 0.7228, okay, go on. Canadian dollars, I think the next opening is 1.0055618. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Don't buy sterling, right? Don't buy sterling because you know that sterling is not in a low location, guys. Look at the chart. Look at the chart. You have to understand the big chart. Press price ready from 1.23 to 1.33. Okay, 1,000 pips move. Okay, if you really want to trade the 618 buy, you have to measure it, right? And you know that the price. May falls to 1.2757, right? Okay. Then, if you understand the big picture, the the the, the sterling has the potential to fall to 1.2757. Then, why do you think you want to trade the 618 from here? Uh, you want to buy from one uh, 1.338, right? Maybe you can earn a little bit of this buying, but in the long run, okay, I think the sterling is more likely to go in downside, right? So you want to take the short-term buy or you want to take the long-term short, it's all up to you. But just, just trade your plan, make your plan first, okay? So plan your trade and trade your plan. That's the key thing of, of professional trading, right? You cannot just uh, uh, say, ah, yes, this one is a 618, ah, let me just buy. Or that one is uh, another 618 of the falling, so let me just sell. No, you have to think thoroughly from every time frame, not only the small time frame, the lower time frame, but the <coughs> intermediate time frame and the higher time frame. Okay, understand? All right, good. All your pullback structure now. Yeah, yeah, all your pullback structure now. Good. So, all right, I think just uh, it's okay to, 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 to make the trade. Yeah, yes. So, if you're short right now, you're shorting at a very nice entry. You didn't. Didn't, uh, we didn't just trace low of uh, 63.78, right? We sell it from 64.26. It's actually a 40 pips uh, saving, right? A 40 pips advance, advantage of <clears throat> compared to those people who sell the sell the low, right? We sell the high, okay? So all you just to enter the trade, right? Nothing to worry about, right? For the dollar Canada, okay? Uh, <clears throat> be careful that uh, I think the dollar Canadian has uh, there's a move uh, I think let me just check um, Wednesday maybe where's Canada CAD CAD where's Canada oh, come on come on come on come on hey? Where's Canada? Mm -hmm. mm, Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, blah, blah. Do, 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 Wednesday, you're starting, starting, starting. Hmm. Where's Canada? Okay, let me... Uh, let me check the jingshi.com to see the calendars. I think there, oh, 424, April 24, is it? Okay, April 24, oh, okay. 
maybe not in this week, in this week because some of my traders remind me that um, you know the Royal Bank of Canada is going to hike the rate hike the rate of the Canadian dollars so let's just uh, see what will going to happen right mm -hmm. So we go to the calendars. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, you're right. It's April 24th, 10 p.m. There will be a Canadian uh, interest rate decision and the previous is 1.75. Uh, it's like maybe they are going to rise, raise the rate to 2%, maybe, right? So if that really happens, the Canadian will be have a appreciation. However, if they still maintain the same rate, it's actually a, will be a bullish move for the dollars Canadian. Okay, so let's check the daily chart. Okay, let's check the daily chart. All right, uh, <coughs> we are bullish for for the dollar Canadian since uh, February. Right, we bought from one point thirty one. Okay, and we enjoy the bullish movement of 300 pips 1.34 now the price is has uh, in a range session from here okay you can see the price is up and down and up and down right so my suggestion is before for before april 24 you don't want to take some uh, like a long-term trade because it will be risky before you, you trade before the news all right however i'm considering to buy from here okay if the canadian dollars pull back to 1.30 to 50 which you measure that there will be a potential 618 level okay at 1.30 to 20 all right so let's adjust a little bit okay so try to buy the dollar cad at 1.30 to 20 that will be a good place to buy all right and in my experience the dollar canadian likes to move in a a b c d way right so a b c d is here right this would be the first a b and then a b c d okay here it will be here and then this two a b c d again it actually forms a bigger a b c d right the bigger a b c d will have a correction from 618 and then move to 1.36 okay and in between these two bullish move, there is a bearish move of another ABCD, uh, which I draw here. You can see that the price is really makes you uh, some, you know, paint, okay, the patterns. Okay, so it's actually one ABCD from the first big AB, and then followed by a correction move of a small ABCD, touch the 618, and you start to buy from 618, and then it may have a very dramatic, dramatic rally to 1.36. Is that cool? Do you agree? Do you agree this is a cool trade? <laughs> okay, two ABCD actually completes and then the, the dollar Canadian falls to 618 level, which we want to buy and we want to enjoy the next move, the whole CD leg, right? Equals the previous AB and you can enjoy about, wow, that is almost 400 pips. Hoo -hoo, 400 pips, right? So yeah, just get ready, get ready for this trade. That would be good, right? You'll be rich, right? Do you want to, all right? Just, just uh, take a very small survey. How many of you are going to take this trade if the dollar Canadian drops to 1.3220? How many of you? Raise your hands. Okay, reply by one if you want to take the trade. Reply by two if you, you know. <laughs> you disagree with trade then just okay you just, you just watch right it's uh, okay because i'm not going to force you to trade because in the end it's still your own money right you have to make uh, responsibility to your own trading accounts right but it's my job to tell you about my thoughts about the good high quality trade where it is and how why do we, we draw this kind of conclusion and if you really want to take the trade what will happen what may happen what is your what is your stop loss what is your potential gain right it's up to you to decide you want to take it or not right so take it or not right to so think about it right okay yeah thanks like 
seems like seems like a lot of uh, traders really agree with trade. All right, that's good. That's good. So let's uh, just uh, be ready for this trade, right? It takes time so because in April 26, right? It's like four days after my birthday, <laughs> right? I hope that it will give my birthday gift of this trade, right? I will definitely take this trade if the dollar can even uh, drop to one point to twenty, right? What target for oil, All right? Let's tap. Let me, uh, I think I already mentioned the, the oil's target. The first time will be 63.50, remember the previous high, right? And then if the price may uh, sideways a little bit. And then if 63.50 was broken, then you find another pullback to short. And in the long run, you can, uh, I think you can aim to 62.20 or even lower, right? So just to, you know, get the place to sell the high. Sell the high, when the price falls, take some profit, pull back again, you add back the positions and then enjoy the next fall. Okay, yeah, trading is easy, isn't it? If you know how to play with it, if you know the plan, if you know the structure, it's just like me. I know everything that I should to know before I take a trade. I know where is my entry. I know what is the reason. Why do I think uh, this trade is going to make money? Right? You have to think of the reason. Okay, why do I take this trade? Why do I think short oil is going to make the money? Okay. Where is my target, right? My potential target is here, potential target is here, or even here, right? It's all have reasons. So you have to learn, you have to study. You have to study the market behavior. You have to study where are the key zone, right? The critical price zone, okay? So once you understand what is a critical price zone, you understand what is, you, what is your bias, what is your view about the certain market. Okay, so a good trader always know what is his edge, right? So our edge is our edge is the weapons that we have, right? So if you go to my website, you know that the uh, we have a six very very essential skills, right? Able to understand how the market moves, able to buy low and sell high, able to identify profitable patterns and trade them. One by one, trade them consistently, right? Always take the same logic of the trade, one by one, okay? Another trading, another good trade, another good trade, okay? Stop loss, big win, stop loss, big win, okay? 200 minus 200, earn 400, something like this, right? Just keep moving, keep moving, okay? All right, that's the key thing of the trading, right? It will not be very hard if you understand the logic, understand what kind of weapons you're going to use in this market, right? You don't, you just don't assume that you are always right, right? I very, uh, I very, I very much uh, like this, uh, this uh, sentence. So I want to share with you guys. Okay, so confidence, confidence is not built, okay, from always being right, okay, but through okay not okay fear of mistake of making mistake okay if you are, if you ask me hey jack why are you so confident talking why are you so you know uh uh so sure, so certain of this market, like oh, the the gold really ready from one two eighty five to one three zero five. How can you how can you make such a uh, uh, determination? How can you make such a uh, uh, preview? Right. The, 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 my answer is no. I'm not so hundred. I'm I'm not always hundred percent right. I a lot of my trade, or maybe one third, or even maybe half of my trade went wrong. Right. But it's okay, guys. It's okay because those failed trade, they just make my loss. You know, a little bit, a little bit of my loss, all right. But those winning trade makes me two times, triples, or even five times, or even ten times of the risk, right? That's a key thing, my friend, right? My friend Derek Oden Smith, right? Derek Oden Smith is my friend in. U.S. in New York T3 Trading Group. I right? personally, uh, he's my he's my <clears throat> partner's boss in T3. Okay, he's Rock's boss, and he is Joe's boss. He trade. He uh, Derek also trained more than you know thousands 
of traders and he has right now he has more than 200 traders working permanently working full-time in New York in T3 under him right so he shared to me that are uh, in his life right those successful traders a lot of times they are making more losing trade than the winning trade okay maybe half or even more than half of the trade went wrong but they cut the stop loss at the preset level okay they never let the the the, the damage going to even a higher than two percent okay and those those winning trade which actually in percentage is less than losing trade right in percentage like maybe only 40 percent trade went right but those 40 percent winning trade makes a lot of money right tons of money right through their trading career right so if you want to be always right right you can just only make small profits if you fear of making mistakes you will not using stop loss you will just you know ah let me just uh, hope the price will go up again okay look at oil guys oh look at the oil right waterfall right happy where's your caps where's your caps right this is money guys <laughs> right this is money hmm interesting right i think i need to take some i need to take some profits right yeah okay good you can as you can see i have two i have two selling right okay let me just take the right yeah, i decided to take them all because i'm making webinars i have no time to see <laughs> right but it's a very nice game right it's a very nice game for today I mean, let me let me just show you how how much I made for today if you can see all right all right today hmm good okay you can see my gold trade all right you can see my gold trade all right my two gold trade wings are I right, long from one to ninety seven, which is yesterday's. Right, I give you guys that uh, we can buy the gold, and I take profit at one three zero maybe zero, zero five. Okay, uh, the my two gold trade wins one thousand. The oil trade also makes uh, yeah one thousand five hundred bucks moves. All right, good. So today I make a two thousand five two thousand five dollar. Right, okay. So my account is about two thousand five for this small account. I just uh, you know, or uh, yeah, I just start from two thousand. You know my you know my habit, right? I I love to trade with two thousand accounts, and uh, uh, I want to you know turn them into ten thousand, twenty thousand, right? So yeah, just two trades. I win from two thousand five to five to five thousand, right? Okay. So yeah, that's life. That's a real life. Can you see? Can you see my screen? Amazing, right? <laughs> All right, good. So, uh, yeah, another thing I want to share with you guys, right? If you look at my trading history, let me just show you my trading history of the maybe uh, things to maybe March, okay? Uh, okay, let me, okay, things maybe March, March 1st, right? All right, this is all my trading histories, right? Okay, and uh, if I Look at it here, okay, look at here. This part, right, this part, uh, you can see from from March the 1st till today, you can count, right, uh, how many money I have been withdrawn from my account. Of course, those are profits, right? Okay, so uh, you can see here, all right uh, of course in the march first i i have a i have a uh, winning of four four k dollar profit just like today today i made two thousand five right so march first i made four thousand gain so i withdraw it all right and then march 16th i made another 5k i just take a you know withdraw of my profits and then in uh march 21st i made seven thousand profit I, I remember it's from sterling dollars short and then uh, in March 25, I make another 8,000, you know, profit. I just withdraw it, 
or steal from certain yen's short. Okay, basically certain certain short. And then in April fourth, I made six thousand four hundred dollar. I just uh, withdraw it. And then in uh, yeah, that, I think the April fourth it will be the uh, last uh, just uh, just three days ago, right? And I think today, if I want to withdraw, I can withdraw another five thousand, right? You can see my net asset has been raised to five thousand, right? So that's how I make my trade, right? I always trade from small money, and if my trade went right, I made a lot of money, I made a profit, and just consistently to take it from the, from yeah, from Axie Trader, <laughs> right? I hope that they are not trade against me, uh, yeah. But I know that they always pass my trade to the to the market, so yeah. So every time when I, when I when I have profits, they are willing to you know get my money to give my get back to my pocket. Right, so yeah, so just by showing this, I'm telling you guys, right, if you want to make money, okay, number one, okay, invest your brain, right, invest your mindset, okay, change it from a you know, a newbies or a new uh, rookie traders mindset to professional trader mindset, and you have to make a trading system, a trading system that can help you to make money consistently, to find the trades consistently, right, just like what we did. In the oil, right? Sell the pullback, instant money. Okay, I I have a two thousand five gain already for today, right? Just, just right now after in in our webinars, right? You are you are you are all the all the all the audience that can spot my winnings, right? So yeah, good. All right, so times to uh, go back to the chart, right? So any questions? Right, any questions? Sterling yen, oh, sure, sterling yen, right, easy. All right, sterling yen, you can see here, sterling yen is testing the previous low, if you can see, testing the previous low, right? And it's going to break down. Okay, guys, sterling yen, very, very strong sell, right? If the price breaks down 144.92, okay? It's going to make a drop based drop. It's going to make a trend continuation. So your plan is to sell the pullback when the breakout happens, right? So let's go back. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take this trade in through MT4, all right? Uh, basically, be very easy setups, right? So let's move on to sterling yen, okay? All right, let's... Uh, mm -hmm. If you remember that I have the Jack Master, Jack Master trades, right? Okay, Jack Master is the uh, MT4 expert that I'm using to help you guys to uh, calculate the risk, calculate the loss size. Okay, so I key in the max loss as 200, all right, 200, and I check this allow live trading, all right? You click yes, and then you open this auto trading function and you will see this uh, smiling face which tells you yeah it's going to be working all right so let's move on for the studying yen okay all right very good so yeah it's going to break down you can see here a very very strong bearish candle right okay let's say I want to short the pullback let's say okay so I click entry I click here this will be my pullback my Selling point, right? I click stop loss here, right? All right, it instantly calculates. Okay, my entry at 145, my stop loss at 145.18. Uh, I should add 1.2 lots, right? And I click order, right? Boom. Okay, you can see my orders go in, my order goes in, so it will sell the certain yen for me automatically. And here, and very very nicely is right is the taking profit level has already been set is two to one so you can see here if my check if um, if my stop loss hit I will lose two hundred if my win approach I will win four hundred that is one to two right okay good so why right now I'm, yeah I think it's going to pull back a little bit all right I think I'm going to take this right hmm yeah. 
So just leave it, all right? Just leave it. For the Dow Jones, okay, Dow Jones, all right, let's check what this Dow Jones, uh, Dow Jones looks like. Okay, the Dow Jones, uh, okay, boom, oh, let's wait for the chart, all right? Okay, the Dow Jones, very, very, obviously you can see, we can see an inside bar, right? Do you agree? In daily chart, Dow Jones have an inside bar. Can you see that? Am I right? Or maybe, or maybe I think my, my chart, oh, sorry, 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 the data is not correct. The data, they are still downloading the data, right? Yeah, okay, the Dow Jones has a very sharp fall. It has already passed <laughs> this inside of our trade, right? If you short this inside of our, right, you already been rich. Okay, two, from 2584 to 2544, okay? Hmm. I, I, I think I think we better going back to the trading views so that to uh, make sure the data are all correct. Okay, all right, Dow Jones, four hour chart, it just uh, falls to previous support, right? So this will be the supporting zone, okay? So the strategy is, you either you want to take a buy from 26,000, uh, or alternatively, you can consider to make the price ready to here at 26,274, you want to take a short. Okay, that will be accept acceptable, right? Okay, so yeah, it's uh, either you buy low from here or you sell high from there. Okay, it's, uh, I have already marked these two zones for you, two critical price zones for you, right? So trading is uh, never be too hard if you understand what is structure, what is uh, Fibonacci, what is uh, ping bar, inside bar, engulfing, right? Or harmonic patterns, right? It's always like that, all right? Are we good? <coughs> Are we good? All right, good. <coughs> SMP, SMP, I have told you guys, it has been already touched the previous strong resistance zone, right? And I have told you guys to find any, you know, any patterns that bearish patterns occur, so you want to short. So in this case, you can actually, what you can, you can, Take is this trade, All right? When you find out this 20, uh, 2,900 level was broken and it was retest, your best trading opportunities comes is here, right? Structure breaks down and retest, okay? All right, and now it makes a lot of money, okay? And what's next? Good, what's next? The question is, in one hour chart, you can see Another structure was broken is here from 2,806 and 2,888. Okay, so you want to either sell the pullback from 2,888 to sell it again, or in one hour chart, you can see here this is inside bar, right? So you want to sell the inside bar breakdown. Do you agree? So two plans, sell the pullback at higher at 2,886, or if this are inside bar breaks down, sell the inside bar, all right? Easy? Are we clear? All right, I'm bearish of S&P because I think it has already reached a very strong, very strong setting zone is here, okay? Strong setting zone. 2,900 is very, very strong not be easily to uh break up right so yeah just sell the high sell the high we already made the first uh, very nice trade now sell the second tranche right sell the second wave okay i think uh no more questions okay we'll go down more yeah look at the look, you have to look left if the 2886 uh, was a retest and the price going down it will and the whole okay look at here the the whole smp recent rally right the channel was broken you can see here this is my favorite patterns right whenever this kind of pattern occurs it tells me a huge fall is coming a huge fall is coming right i think the target can easily be set at 22,084 okay 2,080,40 easily the target is okay 
All right, dollar yen, same thing, because dollar yen is uh, positively correct, correlated with the S&P. So dollar yen sell, okay, dollar yen sell, makes the sell of dollar yen, right? In non-farm payroll day, I tell guys to sell from 111.74, right? Now it's 111.13, and do you want to sell the pullback here? Okay, sell the pullback. Oh, I think my sterling yen trade has been uh, active, right? Just to let me just to let you see the my trade, okay? You can see here, yeah. I think my sorting in trade has been, you know, fill the order, so the order is already active, right? Hmm. Okay, good. So break down, all right, pull back to the to the selling zone because the structure has already been broken, right? Okay, unless uh, made made a sell. I think I will I will adjust my target a little bit. I think uh, in daily chart, I think my sterling yen can have another maybe possible here. Okay, I mean I think I will take the profit maybe here at uh, uh, one four one four sorry one four three point forty, which will give my trade uh, about uh, one thousand seven hundred gain. Right, so that's my trade, and I hope that you you are actually uh, enjoy the trade. Yeah, sorry, no promise of 100% win, right? If, if this trade went wrong, it's okay, I lose 200, right? But today I win 2005, so you can me measure the difference, right? When I lose, I lose 200, I lose 200. But when I win, I win 1,000, 2,000, right? So that's the game, right? All right, good, so I think end of today. Uh, basically, we have covered a lot of our markets. Oh, oh yeah, another thing, the Bitcoin, right? Right. Anyone listen to my advice bought from 3006, anyone? Right. If you if you bought from six one eight last time, and I say the BTC you can bought from three thousand six, right? You are rich. You are really rich from three thousand six, and now it's five thousand four. Okay. Right. So that's uh, it's a beautiful move, right? Basically, we bought from here. We bought from here. Okay. And didn't actually hit the stop loss, and now, right, one thousand six hundred one thousand six hundred dollar for every Bitcoin you bought, right? If you bought ten dollar ten Bitcoin, wow, you are rich, All right? Sixteen thousand grand, All right? So, uh, yeah, and uh, for those guys who are new to me, to my to my trading class, right? If you want to join my uh, students group, okay. If you really want to learn from me, you want to learn all my trading strategies, right? You can go to my website, homologation.com. You go, you just click uh, Pro Trader Course, and uh, uh, right, my course is still online. You can learn from your home. You can learn from everywhere. You can go learn from Africa, learn from USA, learn from New York, right? I'm going to give you all my videos, and I'm going to invite you guys to my students group to give you constant, constantly uh, the support, and uh, you understand better. Of my webinars, so that you can catch those catch those good trade. All right, good. So yeah, plan your trade and trade your plan. Bye bye. Thank you. See you next time. Yeah, sorry, it's here. Okay, my website is here, so you can know that I'm I'm really yeah I'm here to help you guys to be trading professionally and uh, I will tell you what all my strategy is okay what is other other the consequence all other sequence of uh, daily trading and how to uh, how to make a good analysis how to draw the correct Fibonacci levels how to draw the identify those good profit patterns and when to enter when to exit uh, it's all about the trading I will tell you so right now, okay, uh, my course is available. I'm going to, I think I'm going to uh, uh, have uh, another uh, uh, on-location class in Singapore this year, okay? Maybe, maybe in the middle of the year. And uh, I'm also I'm going to plan to visit the USA or Canada in this year. So I may also uh, plan to uh, have a have a seminars in 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 New York in end of this year. Uh, if you really want to join, maybe you can. Yeah, uh, just just uh, just uh, keep in touch and uh, keep uh, join my webinars.
right? Uh, I will announce, I will make those announcements. I'll tell you guys earlier so that you can book your seats, right? So, see you, okay? Plan your trade and trade your plan, right? Good. Bye bye. Yeah, my recordings will be uploaded to YouTube, right? I will upload my YouTube recordings, all right? See you next time. Oh, Osama said, Jack, if my analysis is showing sell, but the indicator shows buy, what is my choice? Follow your analysis. Indicators are lagging, right? Indicators are lagging, right? Because you are selling, you are selling the high. But when the price goes high, the indicators is telling you, yeah, it's still strong bullish, you know? <laughs> so which one you should follow? Follow the leading, follow your analysis, follow your own trading plan, or you follow the indicators, right? You want to be the be the first people to eat the crap or you want to be the you know hold the people that ah, I want to buy after so much ready ah, I want to sell after so much fall right the indicators are lagging right do not use indicators indicators to help you to trade right they can be your supporting tools but not your uh, primary tools sure thank you Matt Han. thank you I think you are a very hard-working guy I can see your progress really Matt Han really gives a lot of uh, good charts in our uh, students group and uh, his chart of the dollar cat dollar yen right uh, gives a lot of insights and uh, tell the other students right he actually made a good contribution to our society to our trading community so uh, good yeah really I, I, I appreciate your hard work and I do hope that you can doing better and better. All right, just to keep this, keep this good work. Right, keep this good work. Maintain it. Right, find those high quality trade through my trading system that I give to you. Okay, and keep doing it one day and and then after another. Right. Good. See you next time. Bye bye.